I'm here at Tate Britain for its latest exhibition, Life Between the Islands, Caribbean British Art from the 1950s to now. Well, I'm pleased to say joining us is Michael McMillan. He's one of the artists exhibiting here. Now, Michael, this is called The Front Room. Tell us a bit more about it. Well, this is the Victorian parlour, of course, that children weren't allowed into unless there were guests. And it's the things in it really kind of speak to the ways that no matter how poor you are, if it looks good, then you're respectable. It's where we receive guests. It's where we now call the living room, the sitting room. And it's a Caribbean migrant room. It was my mother's uh, room. She dressed it really. And I think it kind of speaks to that kind of identity, collective identity of Caribbean British people. The Empire Windrush. What a name for that boat. It involves 46 artists. And on one level, it's an art history of the Caribbean connection in British art from about the 1950s right to now as a continuing story, mainly of artists of Caribbean descent, of course, but it also shows how the visual arts act as this amazing lens through which we can see a broader cultural, social, political story, one that's reshaped Britain in turn. London, of course, isn't the only city that's been transformed by Caribbean communities here. But I guess you could say it's the centre of the Caribbean British community. And I think this show shows how the Caribbean dimension of that is really vital, fascinating, reflects both struggle and, and I'd say triumph, and is an unfinished story. Thank you, Alex. And Life Between Islands opens here at Tate Britain on Wednesday. <laughs>